Hello humans! I know I said my next video would be after surgery, but I lied. So last year I started doing the alphabet project, which is a thing where you make a video for every letter of the alphabet. And me, being the overachiever that I am, I was like, I'm gonna do this. But I'm gonna make these videos different than my normal videos. They're gonna be special, they're gonna be artsy. I'm gonna put lots more work into these videos. And so I did that up to the letter E. And E was going to stand for endings, and it was going to be about my graduation and me moving out of my parents' house and stuff, but I never actually finished editing it. I had intended to put it up by the end of August, but after I missed that deadline, I figured I'm just going to let it sit there. Except now I'm kind of thinking if I had the alphabet project to work on, it would kind of give me a distraction from everything else going on in my life. So I'm going to upload this video, regardless of the fact that it's several months late, and regardless of the fact that, ironically, many more things have ended, like my leg, my happiness, etc. But yeah, it's very ironic. A lot of the things that I talk about in this video could really be seen as my younger self talking to the me now. That's like really cliche, but ugh. Anyway. After this video, I'm going to do letter F, which is going to stand for fandoms, not fuck my life, surprisingly. And so I think I'm going to make the fandoms video a Q&A, so if you have questions about books, movies, podcasts, TV shows, etc., please leave them in the comments, and I might put them in my next video. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy endings. A lot of things are ending for me right now. My life is changing quickly and nothing will ever be the same. I won't ever be the same. Endings have always made me cry. Sad ones, happy ones, bittersweet ones. And then regardless, I would go online and read fan fiction. I would pretend that the story wasn't over. I can't afford to do that in real life. Nostalgia is romantic, and in the past, I've spent a great deal of time thinking about how things used to be or how they could have been. But from now on, I'm going to be looking forward, not back. This June, I graduated high school. That's an ending that I've been looking forward to my whole life. And now it's over. Recently, I cut off all my hair. It was a spur-of-the-moment decision, and while I don't regret it, I do kind of miss my mom. It's different. It's a change. I'm moving out of my parents' house soon. Not in the temporary kind of way, but in the forever kind of way. Packing feels weird knowing that I'll never live here again. A lot of my childhood memories happened in this room. A lot of life-changing events. I can feel their ghosts. I'm also turning 18 soon. On September 2nd, I'll be a legal adult. Not a real adult, of course. That would be ridiculous. However, this means that I'm going to be financially independent from my parents. Actually, not just financially. Entirely. Still, I'm glad all of these endings are happening, or have happened in some cases. In one of my videos from last year, I said that I was thankful for endings, and new beginnings, because you cannot have either separate from the other, because of in spite of how unprepared I feel for all these changes, I know that what comes after is going to be amazing. These endings are the start of something new and exciting. Right now, I am feeling the momentum towards that, towards the end. As I'm taking down my posters and putting my things in boxes, my heart is racing. Two words. I've read them so many times, and so many stories, with so many different implications. The end.
right now, those words belong to me. This is my ending and my new beginning, my death and my rebirth.